guys welcome back to my channel today I have a fun project I'm gonna create with you I will be using the scrap diva designs round gift box I've been having a hard time pronouncing the names this is going to be a two-day video because my lighting is about to change so I will get as much done as I can with the daylight before it starts getting dark I'm also using the flourish collection because my projects have been I, used, I did a previous project a couple videos back using the same collection and I really liked it. I'm also using the Fringe Butterfly, the large one. Here she is. Isn't she cute? Look at that fringe. So I'm going to be using it on my project. I've already got some stuff pre-cut right here on the side. And um, let's get to it. I'm going to do a speed mode on this. And then um, if I get a chance to talk about it, that will give, sorry, that'll give me a chance to talk about it while I am making it. So I'm going to do this project a little bit different just because different as in how the die comes. I'm adding some special touches myself. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So let's get started. So I'm going to glue and adhere all my pieces together. The die comes with this cute little round circle and these little teeth marks right here. This die it's supposed to add a circle around the box and I've already assembled it and those little teeth mark kind of die will be able to be glued on the inside of the box. So I will show that a little bit later but I wanted you to see what the box looks like. I went ahead and did cut this die out again in patterned paper, but this time I cut it about a quarter in inward on so that I was able to add the patterned paper and make it seem like the gold was the entire die and then it has matching paper on the front to add some dimension. This just the gold and the purple with that pattern it's kind of giving me aladdin jasmine agraba vibes but that will change later on as i go decorating this wasn't very hard usually scrap diva dies come with a stitched overlay piece to make it a decorative piece on top this die does not however it is not that hard to do you just cut it out again and you go ahead and cut a quarter inch around the whole die again just so it looks like patterned paper and it's super easy there we go adding in all of the fun and special papers around it and it was pretty easy too this die is self-explanatory nothing very hard except for the little box that I will sh the shaker box that I will show you later this little round ring I added some acetate on it ahead of time and I let it dry and I'm just going to adhere it to the front of the box right there because that is what's going to hold the sequence. Now this is what it what the sequence looks like, the box, and it's going to go in the back. This is another day because my lighting changed and it's been sitting and you can see it curled up a bit, my entire box, because it was just sitting there. And I'm going to fill this little box with sequins. So here are some of the sequins colors that I'm going to be using with um, the decorative pieces. And here are my decorative pieces. I have the large fringe butterfly, a little bow, some flowers, and a little stamp backing. Those greenery is from the Door Mini album, Scrap Diva, as well as this little cute with love handmade for you stamp is from the tumblr stamp set from this february 2024 and then these little flowers right here they are i will put it up because i forgot what kind of flowers they were the she shabby chic flowers there we go that's what it is and then i had a couple of little bits and pieces of um like little stems and stuff that were there and I will be adding that now to fill in this little shaker box I filled it in with the, the sequence and then I thought I want one of those flowers in there 
So I made sure that I glued the flower in and then separated some of the sequins on around it. Added hot glue and the tape runner along those little teeth edges and adhered it. It's super easy. I was going to decorate the back, so I just cut out, um, I just used a circle that was cut out from the main die from the pattern paper making sure that it adheres really well that's why I used double the adhesive and to make it easier I also added in double-sided tape on the bottom to close the book the box before I put the box together that way it's easy just to peel off that adhesive and it's easy then I went ahead and put it all together and it came out really great super easy those little handles I've seen a couple different ways for this little box to work and I don't know what the correct way is but this is how I made mine I put both of the side flaps down and the front and the back as the handle now I'm adding this is the large fringe butterfly again using paper collections that match and this was the flourish collection and I'm adding in the butterfly but I want to make sure that the butterfly is at an angle where you can still open and close the box now with the collection flourish I feel like it's very floral of course it's called flourish florally and little leaves hanging out butterflies so I wanted to make it as exaggerated as possible before it's too much is it is that a thing well it is a thing it's for me putting in those greenery around the butterfly and those little stems adding that in as well and making sure that they all are exaggerated and popping out of the shape of the box this is what it ended up looking like adding in some sequins in there to just mimic the outside of the box and the fringe on the butterfly added that little handmade with love stamp on the back and it turned out really cute i really am happy with how this looks the little flower inside and when you open the box the little the little shaker piece is in there and you still have lots of room to add in whatever goodies you want it's really pretty and i've seen this little box as a backpack as well so check out the links in the description in instagram um, check out the hashtag scrap diva design so you can see all the types of projects that the design team creates with this thank you so much for stopping by and checking this little box out that i created until next time bye